Hey everybody, Derek here. I'm here to bring you another video for Z Nation. Uh, the premiere is coming up in approximately five days. Getting a little closer, getting excited. Uh, definitely interesting to see what they have in store for us. And I came upon a video, well, excuse me, an article today that talked about all of the upcoming characters on the series and gave me a little description of each one. I've been interested to see what each of these characters has about them that's interesting, and I have um, a description here for each one of them that was given, and I'm going to talk about them and give my thoughts on them. So, But just in case you're not somebody who wants to be spoiled in any way, you want to go into Z Nation fresh, not know anything, don't watch the videos as it will contain spoilers. Okay. So um, first up, we have Harold Perrineau, who is playing Mark Hammond. Uh, kind of ironic because in the video game series The Getaway, the um, protagonist, if you want to call it name, was Mark Hammond. Um, but this is a better kind of Mark Hammond. And um, who he is is he's an elite Delta Force uh, survivor who believes that he's found the cure to the virus. So we see that perhaps Hammond's role in the series is going to be more of a, you know, he definitely has leadership skills. Being a, um, you know, m member of the military definitely gives him a big advantage. Definitely has survival skills. And I think what we're going to see is a very tough, character-driven person. Maybe almost like Abraham is on um, AMC's The Walking Dead. I mean, you see that Abraham is very, you know, mission-oriented. And he's not going to let anybody get in the way of that. And perhaps we might see that out of Hammond who is, you know, very hard in battle, you know, you know, he, he, he's ready for battle, and he definitely may be that character that's going to be, you know, no matter what, we're doing this mission, we're on it, and I think that we're going to see some great things out of him, so I'm definitely very excited. Tom Everett Scott is going to play someone named Charles Garnet, and um, it says a former national, he's a former National Guard, he's tough and disciplined, but he's also compassionate and he's seen as the group's strategist. So I think what we're going to see is, is that, you know, Hammond's going to be more of the, you know, the harder type of individual, whereas you might see Garnet as somebody who's very reasonable, your guy, like the guy who you can talk to about things, you know, if like something, you know, you're suffering from something in the walking, sorry, the, the zombie apocalypse world or you know, you, you have some concerns. He's that guy who will listen to you and talk with you, it seems. But he's also definitely going to be somebody that's not to be messed with. If you get on his bad side, I think it's going to have negative consequences. So I think, again, I think he's got a very interesting, you know, character uh, description. Plus, you need those different kinds of people. Like, yeah, you can have one person like Hammond who is the, you know, hard-nosed individual. But if you get Garnet, you have somebody who can kind of offset a lot of maybe Hammond's uh, very straightforwardness, you know, ways about doing things. So I think he'll, he'll definitely be interesting. We have Keith Allen playing Murphy. And it turns out that this is the character who's been bitten um, by the zombies but survived. He's the one that holds the cure in his body. And I definitely think he's going to have a very big role. Because a lot of people are going to be focused about getting him to California so they can take his blood, see what the cure is, and see what they can do about it. Plus, it also might be interesting because the thing is that he looks sickly. Like, when you look at him, he looks like he's definitely sick. Like, the zombie virus is obviously not doing great things for, to his body. And I think it would be very interesting to see them explore that and see exactly what this virus does and how he's reacting to it. So I think it'll definitely be interesting to follow his storyline, and I hope that they really do a good job of, you know, showing how the virus is impacting him, because I definitely think that it's going to make him a very unique character, and I think that we can definitely see a great development story for him there. We next have DJ Qualls, who is playing somebody, it, he kind of has two names. His real name is Simon Kroller, it seems, but he also goes by Citizen Z. And apparently he was stationed at a remote listening post in the Arctic when the zombie apocalypse started, but um, he now goes by Citizen Z and is basically like a radio personality. And he broadcasts over the radio that's still active um, in the zombie apocalypse, trying to give people hope. So it's almost like he's that guy who's basically, you know, full of moral support. You know, he knows that the zombie apocalypse is definitely tough for people out there. And the thing is, the littlest hope that you may have in the zombie apocalypse can help you survive. And perhaps that DJ Qualls 
is that character who can definitely give you the inspiration to want to keep going. So I definitely think it'll be interesting. I'll be interested to see if he leaves the Arctic Post, goes to um, meet up with some other people. Because really, if he's just up in the Arctic Post, I mean, I don't really know how they can make a storyline out of that with him. But, you know, they may have some good ideas, so I'm interested to see exactly what they have in store. Next up, we have Kalita Smith, who is playing Roberta Warren. And she was also a member of the National Guard and is guarded second in command. And she's described as having lost um, everything, like she's lost her family, it seems. It seems like any kind of connection in the past world that she had, she's lost, but she's tough as nails. And I definitely think that we're going to see um, a very tough woman, somebody who's definitely oriented towards this type of world. And I'm very interested to see how her and Garnet get along because, you know, they seem to have a very uh, close relationship on the show. So I'm definitely interested to see how that works out. Um, next up, we have Michael Welch, who's playing Mac Thompson. Now, the description of him says that he used to be a typical college jock. You know, I mean, he was a typical college guy. But um, that the uh, zombie apocalypse hasn't really changed too much about that, except that he's now um, using his abilities to kill zombies. So, you know, we, I think we might see a very interesting character out of him. You know, that he, he might be that guy who, you know, has like that young spirit in him. That could potentially, you know, keep others uplifted. I mean, you know, if he if he has more of an uplifting, you know, attitude, then it might serve, you know, the others well. You need that kind of uh, person in the zombie apocalypse. And I definitely think that he has a lot of capabilities about him that are definitely going to be uh, useful for this show. Anastasia Baranova is playing a woman named Addie Carver. And they said that of her... That in the past, she used to be very sensitive, and they call her a soul of the art type. But that in the zombie apocalypse, she's basically a changed woman. Um, you know, that everything about her has changed. And that's the thing, is, you know, some characters are going to change completely when it comes to the zombie apocalypse. I mean, you've seen in Walking Dead, Carol going from a very scared woman, you know, who always hid and ran from things and was very timid, to now a... Kaiser Soze, I call her, you know, the person who's able to make the tough calls, which makes her like the ultimate, you know, leader in reality. I mean, the fact that she can make calls that others can't shows that she's basically one of the supreme people of being in the zombie apocalypse. And maybe Addie could be a character just like that, you know. We can see just how tough she is, and maybe, who knows, maybe they might utilize flashbacks, and it'd be very interesting to see uh, exactly what kind of changes that she has had. Because I definitely think that when the zombie apocalypse changes characters, it makes for good stories. And that's one of the things that they need on a series like Z Nation or just the zombie apocalypse story in general. How are these characters changing is definitely an important point that they always need to hit on. So I think she has some great potential. I'm very excited to see what they have for her. Next we have Russell Hodgkinson, who is playing somebody... Uh, known as Doc. I guess his real name is Stephen Buck. And apparently he's an ex-addict. Um, he's an ex-drug addict who basically um, used the zombie apocalypse to better himself. And he's a self-taught physician. So he's basically been that guy reading books and you know trying to find the ways to help people. Hey, I mean, he may not necessarily be your first choice for you know, doctors in the world, but if he has more experience than um, other people do, you know, do, then he's definitely going to be an asset. You need somebody that has a good background in um, doctoring, you know, and I think that he could definitely serve a great purpose. So I'm very excited to see. He seemed like a pretty cool character from the uh, trailer, so I'm interested to see how he interacts with everybody. Um, next up, we have Kasey Powell, who's playing Cassandra. It says that Cassandra is a mystery and has a quiet strength about her. And obviously you need that character that's going to be very unknown, somebody that you don't know a lot about. And we can definitely see her, you know, who she is as the show goes on. What exactly about her is a mystery? In fact, one of the episode descriptions, which I believe was the second one, basically said that Cassandra was a mystery and part of her past come back to haunt her. So I definitely think that it's interesting to have a character that you don't know a lot about that you can explore with because it's very important to not have everything be, um, you know, laid out on the table right away. 
having some mystery and development would definitely help with the show, and I'm definitely excited to see what they have for her. And last but not least, we have Nat Zhang, who is playing a character known as Ten K. So I guess that's a nickname. I don't know if he has a real name labeled yet or not. But he's described as a person who loves killing zombies. And the reason why he calls himself 10K is because his goal is to kill 10,000 zombies. Um, that's his goal. And hey, I think that might be a very interesting thing. You know, the fact that he knows exactly how many zombies he's killed. You know, definitely, you know, you can have some fun with that. You know, and maybe he's got like interesting ways of killing zombies that, you know, might help him increase his count, and he just might have that kind of gung-ho personality that you need on the show. So I'm really interested to see what they have for him. Definitely exciting, you know, I mean, when you're in the zombie apocalypse, the one way to keep yourself safer is to kill zombies, you know. For every one zombie you kill, that's one less zombie is trying to eat your, you know, eat your body. So I definitely think that, you know, having a character like that would definitely be interesting to explore his personality. So I'm really excited to see what they got. I think they have a great cast, and I'm really interested to see how Friday's episode is going to be. So with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I want to thank everybody who's been watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I have a lot more ideas for videos coming up. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And again, I want to thank you all, and I really hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.